Hi Taurus, welcome to this reading. I hope you're well. We have the Nine of Swords. Do you know what I get from this? You could have um, expressed in some way that you were concerned about something or maybe it comes across, maybe you sort of um, have at some point double checked something with them or asked them are you okay and they've been perfectly fine but but just something came across that you were nervous you were worried about something and it's not that they like that you're you maybe were experiencing some anxiety or stress but they like that you are deep and thoughtful and you consider not just yourself but maybe how they were feeling what's going on in the situation you're reflective i'm looking at the moon in this card as well um it's making me think of psychic energy, Pisces, being very intuitive. I believe in, if we're looking at that symbol, you know, that talks about the um, maiden, the mother and the crone, and it's like the crescent moon, the full moon, and then the other crescent moon. Um, I feel like perhaps this is the maiden um, side. So yeah, there's something here about, and I'm not talking about um, biological age or anything like that, but at least when interacting with this person, perhaps this was more of an an energy of the early stage of this connection. They like that you seemed just just sort of concerned about them, about the connection, that it was important to you, that you, yeah, that you cared, even if it was out of proportion, even if they were saying, look, it's fine, there's nothing to worry about, the fact that you were so concerned, it's like almost a generosity of thought space, of time, of attention, of care, of nurture. Perhaps this is someone, you know, your twin, um, who hasn't really experienced that much from people. We have the Seven of Swords. Wow, okay. You've transformed, you've changed. I think this sort of almost stressed out, nervous-ish kind of anxious overthinking might have been a past energy. Um, predominantly but almost like an innocence or an inexperience yeah you've really changed um ten of swords reverse but remember we're still asking what they like about you now if we look at this seven of swords you can see two red flags in the background well hopefully you can there <clears throat> so i feel <laughs> Okay, what your twin likes about you is that you have grown, you've become wise, you're showing up as this queen of swords now, you're not to be fooled. Um, they like to see this growth, they like to see this transformation, even if it means you've cut them off or you've pulled back from them. So it's this bittersweet thing of, okay, we might not even be talking right now, but I really love and admire this this growth, this, um, this, this new energy you're giving out with your boundaries, because look, it's all swords. We've got the nine of swords though, which is that stress, that worry having to read between the lines with the moon, you know, it's it's that I'm picking up on this energetic connection and it's creating all sorts of thoughts in my head. And, um, you know, it's making me stressed out to the Queen of Swords, still in the energy of thoughts, but we're not stressed anymore. We're not spending so much time analysing, reading between the lines, because why should we have to? You know, either you, you let me know what's going on or you don't. Um, I've asked, you've had your opportunity. If you don't take it, I'm not going to stress about it. You know, it's that sort of thing. Um, I feel with the Seven of Swords, there was a point where you felt like I'm being deceived. Um, whether this, you know, my twin, whether this person is lying to me or just hiding things or just not being honest or not opening up about their feelings. Um, I've been betrayed in some way and you've come out stronger. You've risen above. You didn't crumble. Ten of Swords reversed. Yes, there is a painful element to this. You know, they might regret what's happened and the fact that you've been almost pushed into this Queen of Swords position. She's holding the sword up. She's all, you know, she's sort of defending herself here or she's in this protective stance. Um, but at the same time, they admire it. They like it. Okay, what else? Yeah, see, exactly, the High Priestess. Um, <laughs> so to begin with, and we're not really asking about their first impressions of you. I, I've done that reading recently, but I, I, I am seeing one of their first impressions was that you were A, very, very tempting, especially physically and sexually, but B, very intuitive. And I feel that you leaned a lot into that at the start of this connection, maybe trying to understand it, trying to understand them. Um, and you were more willing to be in that space. And now it's like you're demanding more you want confirmation in the 3D, you want them to be decent with you in the 3D and interact with you. King of Pentacles reversed. 
Yes, the Emperor. Wow. They're saying you've you've seriously grown in um in wisdom and strength. We've got Aries energy here. Um there's something about you taking yourself more seriously or so a concern about the passing of time or literally life, you know, life doesn't go on and on and on forever. In this, you know, in, in the same incarnation and you're taking that seriously. So I wonder if you felt with the King of Pentacles reversed or at least it seemed to your twin that there was some aspect of your life that was on hold or you would have pushed forward if it wasn't for this connection or something about this connection was affecting it or it might have nothing to do with this connection but what happened is when you put a bit of a guard up with your twin you really focused on whatever this reverse king of pentacles was it could be finances home family your 3d manifested self and now you're showing up as the emperor wow strong um there's a good balance of feminine and masculine energy coming from you but i feel um in terms of how your twin is seeing you they're seeing you as being driven very focused very um more maybe in the masculine energy at least in how in terms of how you're interacting with them one thing i will say <clears throat> is your twin is experiencing you through their lens and their lens only i don't think this is entirely accurate i don't think it's just that to begin with you were this high priestess stressed out nine of swords oh i'm so worried about everything and now i'm the emperor you know i don't think it's clear cut as that i feel that maybe there were always elements of the queen of swords emperor within you but but when it came to this connection with your twin you were showing up differently to how you interact with other people perhaps and maybe now you're just more like you're showing your twin more of what other people see or the side of you that other people see do you know what i mean okay so just as an example let's say you're very spiritual you know you're here watching this tarot reading we've got the high priestess as well this might be something ordinarily you don't just tell everyone you meet you're not going to get on a train and tell a stranger next to you hey do you like tarot or whatever it is but you may have instantly shared something around this or beliefs around twin flame connections that sort of thing um with your twin and maybe they didn't react well to start with or they didn't really you know they weren't giving back what they were getting essentially in one way or another so now you've you've moved into this energy more of of being how you would be with with other people that person on the train you know you're kind of giving them that energy and they're saying gosh you've really um grown or come into your power or you set firm boundaries but actually it's kind of a bit sad because yes i think that might be true you know and, and as we move through life we we gain experiences every day so there's you know usually that development but it's also a, a bit of sadness because now what your twin is seeing is the same almost barriers or the same sort of exterior that other, other people get they're not seeing or having immediate access to something that's more special but that's not how they identified it originally they didn't see that that because of how you feel connected to them they got through that um let's say barrier even though i don't really think it's a barrier um it's just it's just common sense you don't go out into the street and tell everyone you meet all about yourself you know so whatever you want to call that i don't really think it's a barrier but that thing they got straight through that with you and they read it as that's the entirety of your personality and you're kind of um very soft gentle open stressed out easily wounded no that's not true um okay so my point was, while they're saying, I think, you know, one of the things I find sweet and not like, oh, cute, but like nice. <laughs> one, one of the things I like about you is to see this progress. Yes, there has been progress, but I just think they're, they're almost seeing a different side of your personality than what they used to see. Um, and we have the chariot, cancer here. Yeah, strong Pisces, strong cancer. Um, the chariot, you're goal oriented here, you're moving forward, you've got a lot going on and you're in charge of all of it. This is how they're feeling and what, what they're thinking. Um, you are following the star, you're following your highest path, you're not going to be derailed and that's, you know, they're, they're inspired, they're admiring this. Yeah, ten of swords reversed. It's painful because they feel you've got in the chariot and you're zooming away from them um but at the same time they have to admit you know i'm i like this for you i see what you're doing it's inspiring um and i feel happier for you in this energy than when i was seeing you in this nine of swords energy 
Okay, so we're asking, you know, what do they think is sweet? What do they like? How's it inspired them? So they like how you basically have transformed, grown, become very strong, become very determined here. But you know, the chariot, as I said, we've still got that watery energy here. There is still this intuitive side of you, but it's, in their opinion, it's more balanced out now with um, like, you know, the feminine, the masculine, the yin, the yang, the introspective and the, what's the opposite of being introspective? I don't know, the, the focus on the outside world. Um, even though I think from their perspective, it's much, much harder to get through to you now, maybe to gain access to you, to speak to you, to see you, whatever it is. Um, they're saying, you know, I do like this though. I like this for you. I understand how this has happened, why it's happened. It's a good um, period of growth, of transformation that I'm seeing. Okay, so how is this affecting your twin? Um, how are they absorbing this? And the reason I'm asking this question is because with a twin connection, there's obviously the mirroring, the interaction between the two, um, because it's not to say just because someone sees another person doing something, they're inspired to make a change, but because it's a twin connection, that's why I'm asking that. Um, I'm seeing the tower reverse. We've got Scorpio energy there and I saw the sun poking out. So Leo as well. Okay, so can you please show us what effect is this perceived change, growth, transformation that my viewer's twin is seeing within my viewer having on their twin? So how is my viewer's twin um, embodying this energy within themselves, reflecting this, processing this? How are they inspired by this? What is going on here? Also, of course, you know, the emperor is the divine masculine. So there's no question. They're, they're seeing you've got a lot going on and you're doing it all for yourself. There's an energy almost of you don't actually need them. You're doing the divine masculine part yourself, the divine feminine part yourself. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's, it's, it's definitely painful to think that, to feel that. But at the same time, again, I am. My intention here is what do they what, what are they enjoying? I feel like they're sort of your quiet cheerleader on the sideline, like, yeah, you've got this. I'm hearing my heart is breaking without you. <laughs> wow. But yay, still, you know, go you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see. How are they experiencing this? King of Swords reversed. Okay. How are they inspired here? Three of Coins reversed. How's my viewers twin inspired, please? Oh, the moon reversed, Pisces again, King of Cups reversed. Okay, it looks to me like where your twin is right now is in that initial um, stage of saying, I see something in you I like, <clears throat> that I like, I don't think I have it. Um, so there's a blockage, it's like they've, they've hit that blockage, they've got to um, pull it apart before they can clear clear it away and work through and, and find this within themselves. Um, so right now there's lots of observing in whichever way they can, if they can, reflecting on how impressive you are and seeing that deficit within themselves but not realising the reason that they're looking at you and inspired and feeling that excitement around the energy and the power that you're bringing is because it's within them and it's calling, you know, I'm here, let me out. You're excited by this because it's the energy you're ready to embody. Um, they just feel like, oh, if only I was an emperor like you, if only I could handle all of my business very calmly like you can. Yeah, Ace of Coins reversed. So here's the thing. We've got the King and Queen of Swords. So there is some way in which your twin feels that they are matching you, they're mirroring you. Because remember I was saying that, you know, the Queen's got the sword across her. So she's looking slightly defensive, um, potentially, depending on how we, we read that energy. I think that's how your twin is reading it. But she's in the upright. So she's a high vibrational Queen of Swords. She's not bitter. She's not resentful. She's not jaded. She's not suspicious. She's just clear, focused, firm, but fair. Your twin, however, is coming up as a king of swords in reverse. So 
it's like they're trying to match this energy of I'm wise, I'm insightful, I see through to the truth of things, no fluff, no nonsense, you know, but not quite managing it because the King of Swords is reversed and that can be someone who is lying. So I'm not saying that this is your twin is literally lying to you through words, but there's some sort of lie around how they're presenting themselves. There's an inauthenticity here to how they're showing up. They're, they're, it's almost like they're, um, imagine you're hearing a foreign language that you can't, you don't understand and someone says something, you can maybe mimic what you think you've heard and the sounds, but you've got no idea what it means. You don't even know if you've pronounced it correctly. That's kind of what is going on here. They see you showing up in a way that they like, they, they want to emulate that, but they've not found how to do it really truly within themselves. So it's like they're, they're trying, it, trying it out in different ways, trying on different clothes, seeing how, you know what's the best fit. So I'm not seeing this as something they're doing to be insidious. I think they are figuring this out and it, it still doesn't fit yet. It's still not authentic. Um, so how this could look then, you're open to communicating, but you only want straight talk, honest, truth you know that sort of thing and maybe you're not the one who feels it's for you to approach also i feel like you're just you're busy you know your twin with the king of swords reversed is trying to give out the same vibe but actually it's not that they're saying i'm too busy or i'm choosing to be busy with other things or i'm open to communication but of a certain kind it's just that they're almost holding back maybe it seems like a bit of game playing or it seems like stubbornness um okay <clears throat> i think what i'm trying to say is on the surface maybe there's no communication and it looks like you're not reaching out they're not reaching out but the reasons why are entirely different and the places you're both in and how you feel about no communication is very different you it looks like you know, you're not tearing your hair out or anything like that. Um, you know, you're focused on maybe other things. You're in your power. You're feeling balanced. Uh, your twin, no, very, they are not feeling this way. Um, the hanged man reversed. Pisces again. And, you know, the reason why I think is because your twin has something they want to say you don't you've already said everything i think um you have nothing new to say it would just be repetition so i don't think you're carrying around the weight on your shoulders of oh if only i expressed this if only i'd have told you how i felt if only i'd have said this about that i think you've done it all but your twin hasn't and that's why one of the reasons why they're feeling so stressed here um it's because you know they've, they've got so much to say and i'm looking at it as this ace of pentacles but in the reverse um okay and they might feel, you know, they like your strength. They're trying to copy that, trying to put out, well, I'm strong and independent too, but that's not how they feel at all. Um, they're actually sort of almost messing things up for themselves because they're not honoring their authenticity and their truth. They want to speak about something. Two of, <laughs> the only card we have in the upright, yes, is this four of coins. That's exactly what I've been trying to say, but it's been so difficult for me to express it. Um, they're holding back, but it's it's not, you know, again, the queen of swords, the emperor, on the surface, they might see, they're intimidating because they're so powerful and they're so insightful and you're getting nothing by them and they're so experienced together, you know. So they might seem a bit unapproachable, but they're actually not. Um, of course they don't want their time wasted, but they're not unapproachable. Um, your person's trying to be in that energy, but actually they're just coming across as self-defensive, guarded, um, fearful, really, with the Four of Coins here. Um, and holding back, holding back when they don't want to. Ten of Cups reversed, King of Cups reversed. Oh, I feel the thing that um, your twin wants to say is they have all these feelings for you. They want to to be a team with you. They want to move this forward together. Um, they want another chance. We've got the Ace of Coins reversed, a missed chance. Two of Coins reversed to me as we drop one. We're focusing on one coin. So again, it's like we've got a repetition here of, a, of, a, of an Ace of Coins. They want another chance, but they're not speaking it. They're just holding back. Um, we've got death. Yeah, they want a do-over. They want a transformation. Scorpio energy again. 
So this is very interesting. So your twin, we know what your twin is seeing within you and what they like and what they're admiring. Because they admire it and because there's a part of themselves that's calling to be in that energy as well, they're trying to copy it. And I think it's perfectly reasonable that if it's a new way of being, you know, being completely authentic, being direct with people, being honest, all of that about, you know, their thoughts and feelings on things. Um, I, th I think it's reasonable that they might need to practice and try this out and find a way that feels authentic for them. So that's fine. But then there's another layer on top where we're, we're seeing some shadow side stuff coming through, some wounding, some fear, some, some um, yeah, fears perpetuated by your twin's ego. And they're saying, okay, well, Yes, I love the moves you're making. I love how powerful you're seeming and how you're doing it all for yourself. But I can't help to but feel triggered by that in a way and to feel like maybe you're holding back because you want me to reach out first. And I'm stubborn, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so that then we start to get into this realm of almost game playing, silence as a form of power, blah, blah, blah. But you're not in this game. You, you've, you left the game. If it was a chat, you know, you left the chat ages ago and your person's chatting to themselves um you're you're not playing games manipulating nothing like that but there there's a bit of that coming through for, um from your twin now the thing is as i said you're not participating in that energy you're not even focusing on that or thinking in that way so it's only backfiring on them and yeah with this four of coins there's a bunch of stuff they want to say to suggest to offer that they're holding within they're silencing themselves basically there's no power play there's no winning of anything they're silencing themselves and that is it that's all they're achieving here so hmm i think once they figured out how to be this king of swords for real for themselves the impact of, of what they're seeing within you and, and admiring will be huge and amazing, wonderful. Um, also, if they can, when they can move through this shadow aspect of almost disrespecting communication and words and all of that, you know, um, and also the power of silence and reflection. They're not using these things as well as they could. Once they're over that, that will be empowering as well. It's like silence isn't just about I'm pulling back. So I'm trying to push someone else into that nine of swords energy of stress because they don't know how I think or how I feel because I'm not talking to them. Silence can be a powerful tool for reflection, space, healing, all of those things. Um, communication doesn't have to hurt, doesn't have to be manipulative, doesn't have to be spiteful, doesn't have to be guarded or, you know, it can be hugely powerful and transformational in a positive way. So I, I just, I do, I know we don't have the devil here, but I feel like there's some shadow stuff going on as well. Um, yeah, okay, so... So, hmm, I've got the tower again. My next thing I was going to look at is how are they experiencing this transformation, this change? We've seen a bit of that. Is there anything else to unpack there? Yeah, okay. Let's see, how do they feel? So we know what they're trying to do. We get a sense of how they feel, holding back, feeling like they're trying to copy what you're putting out, but it's not making them happy. Um, trying to come off as being as empowered as you are. Ah, there, look, there's a devil, Capricorn energy there. Um, but not really feeling it. Feeling maybe like they're imitating and not very well. Okay, but what else? How is my viewer's twin feeling right now with what's going on? With this energy that they're in? With this change that they're trying to make? And there's also a feeling of not truly understanding. I think maybe what has happened is you've been through some stresses and, and looked at your shadow here. Unpacked it. Done the deep reflection healed integrated transmuted you know whatever you've had to do here you, you you didn't take any shortcuts and that's why you're coming out as this emperor and the queen of swords i think maybe your twin has had a habit of when things come up from their shadow or, or difficult experiences come to them 
they push it away. If it's a, a difficult person, they just disconnect. If it's a difficult situation, they detach from that situation. If it's something internally that comes up, they push it down into their subconscious or into their shadow. Um, they skim over it, you know? It's almost like they can't skip the steps if they truly want to get into the same energy that they're seeing from you. There's no, there's no quick fix here. They cannot skip over this time spent in the hanged man position where we willfully string ourselves up and we say we're gonna we're gonna just hang around here yes it's uncomfortable the blood is rushing to my head i'm watching life happen around me and i feel like i'm not participating but there's good reason for this i can't skip that okay so let's see how is my viewers twin feeling right now And I will say, I've really struggled in this reading to be able to articulate anything. <laughs> so I do, yeah, King of Swords reversed. I think on a more like sort of basic level, I think your twin doesn't feel that they're as good at communicating as you are and maybe is struggling to understand certain concepts or things about themselves um, or to put things into words, realizations they've had. Um, Okay, so Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a real impatience here, but you know, some things take time. For some reason, a strange example is coming to my head. Um, my mother um, baked some potatoes. <laughs> this was years ago, but I still think of these potatoes. They were so juicy. She baked them in a slow cooker, and I remember thinking, like, I, I find that outrageous that it would take, that you, you know, put these potatoes in the slow cooker and it would take hours what's the point you know i'm not i will say i'm not interested really in cooking so but this seemed excessive you know by anyone's standards i thought but um these baked potatoes were so juicy i didn't know a potato could be this juicy um so i would say it was worth it was worth the time it was worth the wait um so if, if your twin wants to come out of this um, uh, is a crock pot. If they want to come out of the crock pot as uh, a juicy potato, they cannot rush the process. Okay, so we have the Hermit reverse, we've got Virgo there and the Five of Wands reverse. See, they don't want to go into Hermit mode. Okay, Four of um, Pentacles again. The High Priestess. Six of Swords, and we've got the Hanged Man. Nice. Okay. Um, Pisces. Pisces is all over this reading, but I feel really what we're looking at today is pausing, going within, connecting to their intuition, to their higher self, all of that. <clears throat> Let me see what's on the back. Queen of Wands. Oh, the Devil Reverse. Look at that. This could also be, you know, you're trying to be someone who is distracted by shiny things, whether it's people, um, the newest technological, I don't know, thing or a new car or whatever it is, um, using the 3D, the material world to, yeah, distract themselves from this inner reflection. What I heard as I was pulling out these final cards was circling the drain. Now, I know that's like a colloquial way of saying that someone's, <clears throat> I think, health is rapidly declining. Spirit's telling me that's not what they mean here. Um, it's almost like, imagine a drain that leads into a sewer. What's happening is your person is going in a, in a, in a spiral, like down towards the, the drain through the grate into the sewer, and they've been resisting it because who wouldn't? You know, who wants to go through that grate into the sewer? No one. But they've got to. They've got to go down into the, you know, the excrement, the feces, all of that, um, and deal with it. You know, I don't know if there's some gem they've got to pull out of it or whatever, but they, they've been avoiding it because that's how it feels to them, doing this inner reflection. It's like, I, I'm not gonna wade into that willingly, but there's no other way they've got to. Um, so that's what's happening. They're going around in circles here until eventually they're like, you know what? I keep avoiding going into hermit mode, stringing myself up and taking a pause, but it's like over and over and over, they're being given the opportunity to do this and they keep passing it by until they're like, you know, what? I'll just do it. Now, for your twin, it's not manifesting as opportunities. It might be manifesting as, why do I keep having bad luck or why 
does this keep um, happening or why does that person keep doing that because every time it's an opportunity for them to pull back and reflect but they don't so these things keep coming up and they might just be seeing well you have great things happening you have good luck they have really bad luck that's not what it is um you didn't ignore the signs even if they were signs you didn't want to see i feel that your twin has been um so it's difficult i would say um and it's really interesting how we do have this split energy of on the one hand they are admiring you encouraging you they're like yeah good for you but when it comes to them pulling through for themselves in this way they're avoiding and then it brings up some, some shadow aspect and then they feel like oh you know everyone gets good things but me um i'm going to just project the energy that, that you're truly in so I can pretend that I'm doing well when I don't feel like I am. And you probably know this about them anyway, because you're their twin. Um, yeah, I'm six, look, six of swords, hermit reversed. No, thank you. I'm out of here. I'm not going into hermit mode. Five of wands reversed <clears throat> with the hanged man. Spirit's like, right, well, you can ignore it this time, but I'm just going to bring up another situation where you take a pause, a time out. It might be with the five of wands reversed that because um, your twin hasn't, willingly pulled back from situations and people people and situations are leaving your twin's life so maybe friends stop reaching out or completely detach maybe um let's say your twin is someone who travels for work or study or for whatever they do those opportunities stop arising or there's not a need for them to travel so much but it's like you know their higher self and spirit is saying you're going into hermit mode <clears throat> whether you like it or not whether it's now next week the week after the week after that we're going to keep bringing up these opportunities. Um, okay. So, I think I will leave this here. Yeah, complex, but not surprising, you know, with the twin connection. Um, so, if I will say, if you're feeling, on the one hand, sometimes, oh, I'm feeling loving energy from my twin, it's true. And if, on the other hand, you feel like your twin is keeping an eye on you or checking in with you and you kind of feel like you or get the yeah get the sensation that maybe there's a bit of resentment or jealousy i think at times that could be true as well i'm hearing something specifically about songs so maybe oh i just saw um 3443 that could be confirmation or an important number for someone but yeah um songs maybe you communicate with your twin through music and sometimes you'll hear a song and you'll connect it with them um and it's a really nice positive loving song and you're like oh that's nice and other times it's kind of bitter and jealous yeah i mean honestly that could be the the two um emotions that they're going between here um and the way out of this is this pause this self-reflection finding the true king of swords within them aligning with that seeing that it's not just that they have bad luck this is this is happening on purpose to you know to, to present an opportunity for them um okay so i'm gonna leave this here this like i said i have not felt that i've really managed to explain things in the way i would have liked to today um so i hope this does make sense you know if it resonates if it's your reading um and that you um yeah that you kind of get what i was trying to say and pulled you know your own messages through as well as i was going through the reading um okay so yeah so i will leave this here um personal readings are available there's a link in the description box um if you want to find out more information um but yeah that's it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye